Hello, and welcome to the third chapter of my Christmas Carol. Scrooge then peeps through the curtain again to find the next spirit. Ho, 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 Ebenezer, why, do come out. But I don't believe it, as he looked. Santa? The spirit then said, hm, I've had many lives. I've been known by many names, Saint Nicholas, Saint Nick, Chris Kringle, Santa Claus, Father Christmas, you name it. But you're not real. Well, I was real. Still am. I'm just a spirit now. I am the spirit of Christmas present. Come, I have much to show you. Scrooge was then shown around. Where are we? said Scrooge. Why don't you recognize it? It's Christmas morning. Christmas morning? Look at everyone. They're all jolly and happy. Yes, of course. That's my job. I go around the world, spreading joy and happiness around. Do you? Yes. Everyone is so cranky around the holidays. I always have to make sure I make everyone happy and jolly. It's just a pity I've never been able to win you over. Scrooge then said, Well, Spirit, as you know, I despise Christmas. Of course you do, which is why I'm here to help you. Come, I'll show you something. Scrooge then goes to his nephew's house. His nephew playing charades with his fiancée and some family friends. He then says, Is this what my nephew Fred does? Of course. After your sister died of childbirth, he was brought up in care. You still visited him, though, and gave him a check... Of course, I'm the only family he has left. He's the only family you have left too, Ebenezer. You should cherish time together. Life is precious. Come. I have somewhere else to take you. Where are we, said Scrooge? We are in the Cratchit home. Miss Bob Cratchit walks in with Tiny Tim. Ah, oh, Christmas dinner. You've outdone yourself again, love. Now oh, I know, Bob. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas, ev Merry Christmas to all. And God bless us, everyone, replied Tiny Tim. What is wrong with him, said Scrooge. Hmm, polio. I don't see a bright future for these people. I see one free chair at a table and a stick without its owner. I see the life chain decreasing. You're saying the boy will die? Well, no one is giving Mr. Cratchit the money to afford treatment. Come now, said the spirit. My time here is growing short. Scrooge then appeared in this dark street. Where are we, spirit? Look all around you. What are all these people doing? They're all homeless. They're people that you could help. <coughs> As a spirit coughed, but what's wrong with you? This life ends tonight of mine. I begin another one. What do you mean? I am immortal. I get to live many lives, which I have done. Come on. I think we should go round the world one last time. Listen, Scrooge rides on the sleigh with the spirits all around the world. 
before stopping in another positive poverty area. What is this? Why you took me to this bleak place? You need to learn the error of your ways, Scrooge. Hold on. What's that underneath your skirt? The spirit then lifted his robe and said, They're children. Children that died. The boy is ignorant and the girl is want. You should fear them both. I must go now. I, ju I now leave you with the spirit of Christmas that is yet to come. Wait, please don't go, spirit. Goodbye, Ebenezer. Goodbye. Scrooge then wandered around. Spirit, you can't leave me here. I demand you come back. He then looks around at the thick mist building around him. He then turns around and sees a tall, hooded man with a scythe. He then says, Are you the spirit of Christmas that is yet to come? Very well. I know your purpose is to do me good. And I will accompany you. I fear you more than any other spectre that I have seen. Lead on.